It doesn't matter what rock you live under, I'm pretty sure every one of us knows J-Lo, or as she likes to call herself, Jenny from the block. It's turning out to be a really bad year for her to say the least. J-Lo is stirring up the scene with her latest moves. And let me tell you, it's been a roller coaster ride of drama, excitement, with a sprinkle of controversy. Actually, a whole lot of controversy. Jennifer Lopez, the unstoppable force of talent and charisma, decides to drop a bombshell of an album called This Is Me Now. And oh boy, did she make sure we knew about it. With a whopping $20 million spent on promotions, she's been plastered all over our screens with an experimental film, a jaw-dropping documentary, and a tour that's been rebranded quicker than you can say Chinese knockoff. But hold on to your hats, folks, because despite all the glitz and glam, it seems like not everyone is singing her praises. Nope. Her album got some lukewarm reviews, her film got roasted by critics, and her documentary. Well, let's just say it's been serving as prime meme material on social media. All right, so gather around, because we've got some piping hot gossip fresh off the press, and it's all about our girl, J-Lo. Well, 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 let's take a stroll down the boulevard of J-Lo's recent misfortunes, shall we? It's been a roller coaster ride of ups and downs, twists and turns, and more drama than a soap opera marathon. From her music hitting rock bottom on the charts to the backlash over her self funded cinematic endeavors, it's safe to say that J Lo's ship has hit a few icebergs lately. Now, picture this you're sipping your morning coffee, scrolling through the latest gossip, and Bam! You're hit with the news that J-Lo is rebranding her entire tour. Talk about a plot twist. It's like trying to sell ice to Eskimos or convincing a cat to take a bath. An uphill battle, to say the least. But let's rewind a bit. Remember the good old days when J-Lo ruled the tabloids with her whirlwind romance with Ben Affleck? Ah, the memories. It was like watching a real-life soap opera unfold before our very eyes. But fast forward to today, and it's like watching a rerun of a show that's long past its prime. Enter JLo's grand vision, a multi-million dollar project encompassing an album, a movie, and a documentary. Talk about swinging for the fences. But hey, you gotta admire her gusto, right? Unfortunately, it seems like her vision may have been a tad too ambitious for its own good. It's safe to say the reviews are rolling in like a tidal wave of disappointment. Her movie? More like a glorified music video. Her documentary? a PR stunt gone wrong. And don't even get me started on her attempts to rope in A-list celebrities for cameos. It's like trying to herd a bunch of cats into a cage for their veterinarian appointment. Messy, chaotic, and ultimately futile. But wait, there's more. Her tour tickets are priced higher than a designer handbag at a Beverly Hills boutique. I mean, $7,000 for a meet and greet? Who does she think she is? The Queen of England? It's enough to make you choke on your avocado toast. Now, Here's where it gets spicier. Remember the whole hathahate frenzy from back in the day? Yeah, well, it looks like J-Lo might be the new target of internet snark. From accusations of being tone deaf to sparking viral challenges that fell flat, our girl has been catching some serious flack online. I mean, who could forget the infamous hashtag love don't cost a thing challenge? J-Lo thought she'd get people tossing their bling on the beach. But instead, she got a tidal wave of backlash from fans who were like, um, excuse me. But not all of us can afford to chuck our stuff into the ocean, Jen. And just when you thought the drama couldn't get any juicier, enter the TikTok sleuths, digging up dirt on JLo's Bronx roots. Apparently, there's some debate over whether she's really the Jenny from the block she claims to be. Some folks are calling her out for allegedly stretching the truth about her upbringing. And let me tell you, it's got social media buzzing like a beehive. But wait, there's more. Remember that time J-Lo spilled the tea on other Hollywood leading ladies? Yeah. Turns out she had some not-so-nice things to say about Selma Hayek, Cameron Diaz, and Gwyneth Paltrow back in the day. She cued the apologies and backpedaled on that one faster than you can say, oops! Critics have leveled accusations of having a self-centered creative expressions and a borderline narcissistic creative disorder. 
suggesting that her latest endeavors are more about self-promotion than genuine artistry. Entertainment journalist Hunter Harris didn't hold back in her newsletter, hung up, describing the documentary as a 90-minute showcase of J.Lo's candid musings on the Herculean task of embodying the iconic persona of being J.Lo at every turn. In one particularly shared moment from the documentary, Lopez stands before the mirror, gently tousling her hair as she delves into memories of her Bronx upbringing. I love letting my hair down like this, she reflects. It takes me back to when I was 16, tearing up and down those Bronx streets. A wild, fearless girl with boundless dreams. In response to the clip, one TikToker named Photos by Angela claimed that she and Lopez had gone to the same Catholic high school and accused Lopez of lying and of using the Bronx to look human. We both attended an all-girls high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood, so you weren't running up and down the block, she said. The controversy inspired people to dig into Lopez's past interviews to find other occasions where she has riffed off her Bronxite status. In one, a 2022 Vogue 73 Questions Home Tour, Lopez shared her go-to-bodega order, a ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink. If you know, you know, she added. Unfortunately, many people did not know and questioned the authenticity of her order. What the F is an orange drink? asks one TikToker's mother, who he says lived in the Bronx. In the midst of all this, Lopez's critiquing of other female actors in a 1998 interview with MovieLine resurfaced online. On Oscar-nominated actress Selma Hayek, Lopez said, We're in two different realms. She's a sexy bombshell, and those are the kinds of roles she does. I do all kinds of different things. Cameron Diaz was a lucky model who's been given a lot of opportunities I just wish she would have done more with. And on Oscar winner Gwyneth Paltrow, Lopez said, I swear to God, I don't remember anything she was in. Some people get hot by association. I heard more about her and Brad Pitt than I ever heard about her work. Lopez has apologized profusely since then for her remarks, claiming she was misquoted and so taken out of context. Unfortunately, such context rarely finds its way to a viral post. With This Is Me Now, a love story, Lopez has opened herself up to a raft of new sound bites that might come back to haunt her. With a nationwide tour on the horizon, it could be some time before Jenny from the block finds some respite from social media. So what's next for our girl JLo? Well, with a nationwide tour on the horizon, it looks like she's in for a wild ride. Will she ride out the storm of social social media scrutiny? Or will she find herself in hot water once again? Only time will tell, my friends, but one thing's for sure. When it comes to J-Lo, the drama is always on full blast. So where does J-Lo go from here? Well, it's anyone's guess. Maybe she'll take Jane Fonda's advice and dial it back a notch. Or maybe she'll double down and go full steam ahead. Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure. In the crazy world of celebrity gossip, there's never a dull moment. So grab your popcorn, folks, because this saga is is far from over.